tomorrow. It's Friday. Yes, it is October 14th. And we are looking at Proverbs 14 and 21, which says, He who has mercy on the poor, happy is he. And our title is New Uses for Old Crops. Hmm. George was the son of slaves. He worked hard to put himself through school. He did odd jobs, house cleaning, laundry, whatever he could find that was honest work. Eventually, he earned a college degree and began working at Tuskegee Institute with Booker T. Washington. These two men worked very hard to improve the lives of the African Americans of their day, who were, for the most part, very poor and without many opportunities. George thought that poor people could improve their lives if they were taught to use the land well. He set to work looking for ways to help. In his, in his experiments, George found more than 100 ways to use a sweet potato, dyes, flour, glue, coffee, candy, starch, vinegar, inks, shoe polish, and rubber, just to name a few. He found even more uses for the peanut. George discovered ways to use pecan, tomatoes, and corn that no one had thought of before. Because of all of these new products, demand for these crops increased and many people were able to live more comfortable lives. George could have become a rich man from his many inventions, but he always used them for the good of others. His payment was the satisfaction of knowing that he had helped many people gain self-respect and independence through his work. George Washington Carver never did anything carelessly. He believed that anything worth doing is worth doing well. Being a hero for God involves working to help others and doing your best at everything you we do. Let us pray. What an inspiring story, O oh God, about George and all that he did. And yes, it tells us that he could have been a very rich man, but instead he used what he got to help others. May we too also have that spirit of wanting to help and doing things at the best that we can so that we can help others along with helping ourselves. May we always put 100% into everything we're doing, God, because that means we're doing it for you. Thank you for giving us the character traits of understanding and putting into practice what it means to be responsible and dependable. Thank you, God, for loving us, your prince and princesses. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen. We've gone through one week where together we've learned about dependability and responsibility. I love you. And until next week, continue to be God's heroes in training. Thank you.